What's going on everybody? Welcome to this video. I'm going to say it. This is technically the first one I'm filming in the new year, but who knows when things will get posted. How are you guys? What is going on? So, as you see by the title, by the thumbnail, it is that time again. We went DVD thrift shopping and <coughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, so we have our next haul here. If you guys are new to this series, there is a thrift store here called Desert Industries. We call it DI for short. And I thought now that they have transitioned to selling DVDs and Blu-rays, because when I went as a kid, it was very much the VHS tapes. I thought it'd be really fun to do more so a like DVD hauls and see what I can find there. Because all the DVDs and Blu-rays are $2 for the most part. So I was like, let's see what we can find. So the first one that we did, I got a good haul. It was a good haul. And this second one, there's less, but I still feel like they're good finds. So we have the bag here. I am just pulling out at random. So we're gonna see what, what comes first. I'm going to just kind of go like this. Okay, so first one, here we go. First one we got. This is Peter Pan Return to Neverland. So this is like the direct to DVD sequel to Peter Pan. Uh, this is a movie I have watched um, a few times, not like a lot, a lot. I remember watching it more so on TV. Um, but yeah, so this is the pixie powered edition, it says. Um, so here's the DVD. And it's one of those that originally had like a scene selection, um, a little pamphlet thing. So I thought that was cool, a little interesting. Also, I think this is when the Tinkerbell movies were starting because it looks like there's a lot of, also check out Tinkerbell, you know, so kind of interesting, but yeah. So this is our first one, Return to Neverland, which I'm excited to watch. It's been, it's been a minute since I've seen this. It's honestly been a minute since I've seen the original Peter Pan movie. That's one I need to find on DVD. Next one, next one, what do we got? Okay, so we have Finding Nemo on DVD. Now, if you watched my first DVD thrift haul, I got um, Star Wars The Force Awakens on Blu-ray they had there and they randomly had a Finding Nemo DVD in that case, which I thought was really funny. So now I have the case for it. Um, it's just the the movie disc, but also has the little pamphlet, the original pamphlet, but not the bonus features disc, which is fine. You know, I'll look out for it. You know, if I find another copy with it, then I'll pick it up. But for now, this is what we got. So there we go. Now we have we at least have a case for the DVD now, you know? Okay, next. This one's interesting. So this is Camp Rock, um, the Disney Channel movie. Uh, I'm not like the biggest, biggest fan of Camp Rock, but I was like, you know what? I love me some Disney Channel musical movies. Let's add it to the collection for $2. Um, and it came with the slip cover too. So that was really cool. But this is actually apparently like a Target exclusive version and it actually came with two discs so we have the movie here but then there's also a special features disc and from this little tag here it says exclusive bonus dvd attached featuring never be featuring behind the scenes footage only at target right there so i thought that was interesting i have a dog barking on the other side of the door. Anyways, there's that. I thought that was a really cool find. I didn't even know it existed, like a, a special exclusive Target version. A special exclusive Target version, you know? So yeah, there's that one. Okay, next we have The Pacifier. This is a movie I've not seen for a good hot minute. I'm excited to rewatch it, uh, but I, I remember this being just a funny, you know, funny comedy movie um, and I was excited to find it because I again I've not seen it in a while I haven't seen it in the wild for a while um, this is the full screen edition remember back then you could pick between full screen and widescreen editions um, but this is the full screen edition which it's fine you know 
it's fine. It's at least the movie, you know, and it's in great condition. So this was kind of just a fun, interesting find, one I was not expecting, but here we are. Okay, next we have E.T. This is some exclusive version of it. I don't even know. Two disc limited collector's edition of E.T. So you like open it up and the moon is the DVD, which I thought was really cool. And then you can just like keep opening it up and there's a bonus disc full of bonus features. Um, so yeah, you have that whole opening. And then if we look at the so then when you flip it, you have another whole picture here. Um, also, I just saw here, it says it is a widescreen edition, but I thought this was a cool find. It's like some sort of collector's edition of this. I don't know when this release or anything, but I thought it was just a cool find. And so here we are. And I think it's really cool how this is presented with the DVD is the moon for it. So there's that. Okay, next, this is actually sealed. It has never been opened. This is a double feature though of Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen and the Lizzie McGuire movie. I don't know if I've ever seen this to be honest. I mainly got it for the Lizzie McGuire movie. Um, but yeah, so we get like a unofficial official unboxing here because it's still sealed. So let's open this and check it out was this only yeah this was only two dollars still even though it was sealed so you know what it's it's a good good win in my book um i wonder if the discs are yeah two dvd set so they're each on their own disc i don't have a trash close by so we're just gonna put it in my pocket so here's this, we have the information for both movies on the back. Then when you open it, you have the first disc for the first movie. So there's Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, and then we have the Lizzie McGuire movie here. So that's pretty cool. I like that there's also disc art for both of them, even though it's in this two set, you know, like this two disc set. And I mean, they're brand new, so that's a cool find. And now I'm gonna have to watch this movie and see what it's all about. All right, the final one for this haul is actually the original Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory on Blu-ray and it's still sealed. So we get another unboxing here. So yeah, here's here's this. I This is another movie I've not seen for a hot, hot minute, but Blu-ray and it's sealed for two bucks. Listen, how could, like even if you didn't love the movie, like how can you just, not pick up this you know like I saw a DVD copy of this as well and I was just like I don't know why anybody would go for that right now but you know what it's a win for me so we'll open it up it's a little bit like I don't know if it got water on it or something I have no idea because it was sealed but it is interesting I don't know I mean the disc is fine though so it's fine but there's what we have for that. Kind of interesting, but you know what? I'll take it. We're good. We're all good. Now, okay, we're good. It closes. So there's that. So guys, that includes this DVD thrift haul with all these. So let me know what is your favorite movie out of these. Let me know if you have any of these. Um, and let me know if there's some that I should be like watching out for is there a specific movies or DVDs or something that you guys think I should be watching out for when I go do these hauls. Um, also, let me know what you'd like to see within the this video series because I'm going to be doing one about one a month um, is what I'm going to try to do. But like, would you like to see kind of like footage of me going and picking these up before we showcase them um, or what? You know, just let me know what do you want to see and let me know which is your favorite out of these that we found in this haul. So guys, that is the DVD thrift haul number two. Thank you all for joining. If you are new here, press the subscribe button. It helps me a ton and it's free. So why not? Do you get to hang out with us? If you like the video, hit the like button. It's always appreciated. It helps me out. And again, leave all your comments down below. I love chatting with you guys down there in the comment section. 
And that's going to do it. So, until the next one, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.